world population has reached a grand total of 3.8 billion, doubling its total over the last 30 years. Hurricane Charlie has been upgraded to a Category 4. Authorities are advising citizens to evacuate. This has the potential to be a devastating storm, folks. The last Category 4 we had in the region was Hurricane Hazel in 1954, which left an estimated 1,000 people dead. If you are unable to evacuate, we urge you to find immediate shelter. And now for something new from the Jerks. Archie? Yeah. $876.43. Every time there's a storm, there's a run on supplies. Tim the Grenadine. I thought we were the only ones thick headed enough to be out here in this weather. I'm sorry, Timmy. All we got left is cat and dog food. Do you have any Harrow Supreme, Mrs. Parmalee? Where's your daddy? I'll go get it. Ain't seen a storm like this one come through since... When was it? 58? Maybe 59? I remember it was right around the time the love of your life walked out on you. She said it wasn't you. It was the weather. <laughs> and you should be grateful that she didn't walk out on me because you wouldn't have had nobody to hang out with the last 20 years. And you got a point. Every night you two egg each other on. There's no point in going on about the past. Better than the present. Yeah, that's right. Times are coming and gone. This town is practically dead. This storm might just be the last nail in the coffin. Chief, I thought you were going to get rid of my mold problem for me. I tried. It keeps coming back. We're interrupting the program with breaking news. Due to the weather conditions, the police have officially suspended the search for the missing Grady twins. The twins, age 14, and the missing... Everything okay? My daddy, he's changed. What's wrong? I don't know. I, I, I can't say he's real sick. I don't want to go back. Please. I never want to go back. Oh, sweetheart. You don't have to go back. You just stay right here. You need to go pay a visit to that boy's father. Find out what's going on with Richie. Tell you what, son. You stay here with Miss Parmalee, all right? And uh, me and Doc will take that case of beer. We go over and uh, see your daddy. No. I, I mean, would you? Would you really do that, Mr. Connors? Of course I would, son. Of course. Well, now look at you. He ain't been feeding you very much, has he? You come on over here and sit down. I'm gonna get you a nice warm meal. What do you think got that boy so scared? I don't know. But I can tell you I haven't seen a look like that since George Kelso. George who? George Kelso. Years ago, he saw something in the sewers that spooked the bejesus out of him. Shit. Must have made landfall. I remember something that my daddy used to say to me. He'd say, son, there are things in the corners of this world that if you look them right in the face, they'll drive you insane. Hey, poor boy. It's not just like this. Mama and Papa had a hell of a fight. Martha ran out to that storm. Richie's never been the same since. All right, let's do this. Go now so we don't get caught in the thick of it. Hey, Dixie, we'll be back in a few minutes. You be careful, boys. Damn 
of storm. Go on. Now, why don't we start at the beginning? Let me tell Mrs. Formley. Nothing to tell. Timmy, when I was your tutor, what did I always tell you about math? For every problem, there's a solution. Well, life's just like that. Yeah. What's been eating at you? All started a few years ago. After... Your mama died. We buried her on a Tuesday. My daddy wouldn't talk to anyone but me. Why don't you go back inside, son? Daddy always taught me that a real man don't cry. And that's when he took up the bottle? He always liked his Friday night beers, ain't gonna lie. But after a while, Every night was Friday to him. As soon as he'd come home, he'd have to have his arrows. He said it helped him put the long day behind him. Otherwise, work would grind him down. After a while, everything seemed to grind him down. Argument on the factory floor, late on the rent, pickup needs a new alternator. And then it wasn't just nights. They caught him drinking on the job. They gave him his papers. I don't want you to think I'm speaking poorly of my daddy. He was always good to me. But all that seemed to, I don't know, just kind of fade away. Is everything OK, Daddy? I know I've been no good. And I'm sorry. I'm going to quit. I promise. You gotta believe me. I'm gonna be your daddy again, okay? But that didn't happen, did it? Oh, Timmy, I am so sorry. To see your daddy change like that. Change? Mrs. Parmalee. That was just the beginning. I think there's something more about your daddy you wanted to share. He became good for only one thing. What's that? Drinking contests. That's how we paid our bills, you see. Until one day in October, after winning big. I'm gonna quit one day. I promise.
I swear it smelled like something curled in there and died. Two days later, I come home from school and I find my daddy doing something he never done. Watching afternoon tear jerkers. Shoot on bright in here. Why don't you go and close the shade for your daddy? Are you ready? Go fetch me another case of heroin. And that's what it became. Every day after school, I'd have to get him his Harrow Supreme. I wouldn't dare go home without it. Seemed like he'd never leave that chair of his. He was always watching those soaps. Timmy! Yeah, Daddy? <laughs> I need you to turn off that light. I'm just trying to do my homework. You question your daddy, are you? You want a whipping? Who said he'd get from that to a friend's house? Sure, daddy. Before you go, blanket up these windows. Daddy. You ever miss mama? I really miss her. Go on now. Time's wasted. Timmy, you have to tell me what's happening with your daddy so we can get him help. She's on the second floor. Whoa! Anybody here? So I don't feel gin in there. Damn. Goddamn gates on some bitch landlord's got the radiator going in September. Hey Richard, we got your beer. Gato in there? Here. 
Gene. He started demanding I heat up his harrows. He wanted the radiators on it full blast. One day, I come home and my daddy. Turn on the lights, son. He's all wrapped up in my blanket from head to toe. Daddy, what's happening to you? I don't know. Don't hurt. It feels kind of nice. I'm gonna call the dog. No, don't you dare. Or I'll touch you. And you'll look like this. <laughs> Richie. Hey, Richie, it's Doc here. You all right? Ooh. Oh, man, it's not bad in here. What is going on? Oh, my God. Hundred degrees in here. Richie, Richie, where are you? No, I can't. I can't. Please, please, Mrs. Parmalee, don't make me. He's in pain. Your mama would want you to tell me. You know she would. His thirst, it, it grew. <laughs> he wanted more, more than just beer. It's not what he's gone and done, it's what he's going to do. What he's going to do? <gasps> oh, God! There are no more supplies. His appetite's grown. First it was the animals, and then... I didn't know what to do, you see? Everyone left town because of the storm. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to understand. Chief! Doc? Nothing could stop him. No, 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 no. I brought them to him. No, 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 no. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta go. Let's get out of here. He was so hungry. Timothy. What is he going to do? Richie, get out of here. You're under arrest. Richie, get out of here now. me he was gonna quit he's my daddy I love him 
We have to get out of here. They're coming. They're multiplying. We have to get out of town. We have fast. to figure out how fast. It's not a flu. How long do we have? I'm sorry. I'm so it can't be so right. Sorry. It, it can't be. Happened. It wasn't stopping. It just kept growing. Time. So they're everywhere. Time. There's we too many no of them. Time. We need to go. Oh, God, please. God, no, no. Dixie, what the good Lord's name are you doing? We can't stop we them. can't stop no. them. We're going to eat billions. At this rate, it's six days. Six days? Six days to what? The end. The end of everything.